Hey guys, Ryan here. I uh, can't believe I'm about to do this, but I've decided to sell my hammock setup. Uh, I've finally just come to terms with the fact that I probably won't be doing any solo trips within the next at least two years. Uh, my wife's shown some interest in doing some backcountry stuff as well as bike touring, so I don't really see this thing getting used and it feels kind of ridiculous just to sit on it for a couple years and hoard it in the closet while somebody else could be using it. Um, so yeah, I was just going to type up a detailed post, but I figured I'd just make a quick video. It'd probably be quicker than me having to type everything out and um, give you guys a better idea of, of what it is this setup's all about. So I'm going to be selling an under quilt. It's a hammock gear, 20 degree, three quarter, in, or three quarter length uh, Phoenix, um, as well as the hammocks shown here. Uh, the tarp, which is a Wilderness Logics tadpole. The Easton um, Nanolite poles, which are uh, holding up the tarp in porch mode right now, as well as all the hardware, tree straps, tie stakes, um, and I'll even consider throwing in um, a sleeping bag for sale in the package as well. But uh, here, I'll just do a quick rundown. This is the Wilderness Logics Tadpole Tarp. Um, perfect coverage. You can see it goes end to end on the hammock. This is an 11 by 5 foot setup, so it's really a super roomy hammock. I have it set up with porch mode with 48 inch um, tent poles. They're 5 ounces. If you bring trekking poles, it's not something you would need, although it is kind of nice just to have it on standalone setup. But um, this is 1.75 zing it, and you just loop it over there a few times and bring it down. The ends of every tarp, I think it's 5 feet of lash that I used. Um, per pull out uh, to continuous loop prussics um, they just slide up and down so you just slide these to, to get your tension um, and so yeah so if you don't I'm gonna pull the tarp away actually so you can see the hammock a little bit better but yeah these things are pretty quick to take down okay so here's the hammock the tarp itself, the hardware on the tarp, it's got a 30 foot um, 1.75 lashet um, line and they're connected to the tarp ends with, um, what are these things called? Oh, soft shackle prussics. So this will help you get tension on the tarp and it's also removable. The hardware here is, this is a prussic to a Dutchware um, hook. And then it goes around, so that's buried, that's permanently attached. 30 feet across, I usually run the line across the top of the hammock, or top of the um, uh, tarp. Back to another one of these soft shackle prussics. And then you have a uh, prussic to the Dutchware uh, tarp fly. So you can get tension on this. And this way you can get a nice um, V shape coming out from the tree that you're hooking up to and that way it doesn't interrupt your hammock itself. The swing is not gonna interact with these two sides. So you can kind of see that there. Um, it's not as exaggerated because of my tarp setup, or because of the hammock stand. Um, I'm including some of these beaners rated for 1,100 pounds, um, six foot um, whoopies on each end. Uh, so this is a channel end hammock. It's got a full bug net on it, one side zippered, so you can see, the thing is huge. Two pullouts, it's got a pullout here, kind of a bungee, and it's removable with this hook um, to a bungee that goes all the way down. I usually just run it up to the stake I use for my tarp. So it's a full length, so you can zip it all the way out to the end, throw that back, and you have just like a la nice lounger. And then it's got a, an adjustable ridge line with plenty of length. You can cut that if you want uh, to shorten it. I just tighten a knot and stretch it out like that. And then it's marched, marked every inch. Um, so if you want to play around some adjustments. And you can see this actually goes to another soft shackle prussic here. Um, so you can take that off if you don't want to run the ridge line for whatever reason. So you can remove that ridge line. So it's kind of a cool thing. So full zipper, smooth in and out, and I have these just zing it or lash it uh, 
holes just to make it a little bit easier to grab. You can take a look at the stitching. You can see it's uh, super balanced stitches, really straight. Um, I actually made this hammock. I would say it's on par with any um, cottage manufacturer uh, from any anything that you could purchase um, online. Uh, I've, I've made quite a bit of my gear. I have a side business that involves sewing, so I'm pretty pretty comfortable behind the sewing machine. So this is 1.1 rip stop. A really nice feel to it. Um, let's see what else can I tell you about it? I think that's basically it. I'm going to include some six foot tree straps. So these are seatbelt webbing. Um, with nice boxed stitches. You can see there on both ends. Um, six feet should be enough with the, in addition to the six foot whoopies. Uh, I'm also including four titanium, these are five inch, um, stakes. And I painted the top with pink and nail polish, so you're more likely to spot these. If you have a, something pulls out, you leave it on the ground, the pink makes it stand out against the green or brown. So I've I lost a few tent stakes for my tent. I've actually never been on an overnighter in this hammock. Um, I've slept... Two not a couple nights, yeah, two to three nights out in it in this hammock stand, um, just testing it um, to make sure that the setup was warm enough. Slept down to 30 degrees, it was totally fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to throw on the undercoil. I think most of you guys know what that looks like. Um, it's a three quarter length from um, Hammock Gear, the Phoenix. So, I'll, I'll post some photos so you can check it out, but, but this is the whole setup. I'm going to figure out the pricing. Um, I'm, I'd like to do a package deal just because it makes shipping easier and, um, you know, it's nice. You can get all the accessories rather than trying to separate everything out. Uh, the weight on this is light. I, I'll, I'll weigh it so you guys can see exactly how much it is, but I know the hammock with whoopies is under a pound. Um, I'll include this uh, rip stop nylon um, bag zippered and um, the way that I normally take like, when I'm taking my hammock down I typically roll it like a burrito almost and this does it fills maybe half this bag but the reason why I use it is I also double it up as a pillow um, in the hammock or if I'm tent camping I haven't slept in this one so it's it's new um, but yeah I have a bunch of others like this Tyvek and other materials and I like the zipper as opposed to the drawstring the bottom is the way that it's made it squared out so it actually holds more of a rectangular shape or a cube shape um, because of that so so there it is uh, I'll post more info um, but yeah just thought I'd throw that out there so you guys can see exactly what what you'd be getting uh, thanks